Lining the small intestine is a community of bacteria called the gut microbiota. These microscopic inhabitants live in both the small and large intestines. They are indispensable for digestion and various aspects of human health and are often referred to as the good bacteria. But what happens if the composition of these bacterial communities changes? Does human health change when the bacteria in the intestine or gut change? Can exercise switch the kinds of bacteria in the gut? First, it is important to consider how the gut microbiota can be harmful. Dysbiosis is the term used when there is an imbalance with too many of the harmful bacteria comprising the gut microbiota. It's not just a sign of poor health or low physical fitness. Dysbiosis may also be one of the causes of these problems. Some bacteria that appear in dysbiosis can't adequately produce amino acids or help with protein metabolism. The outcome? Fewer amino acids are available to support muscle growth and maintenance. Considering dysbiosis is seen with aging and sarcopenia, which is a muscle wasting condition is seen with aging, some experts believe dysbiosis might be one cause behind this muscle mass loss. The resultant muscle mass loss might also explain the decreased physical fitness that is often seen with old age. One of the most significant threats to human health arises when the digestive tract weakens, giving rise to what's termed a leaky gut. In the complex mechanism of nutrient absorption, various molecules typically pass through membrane channels in the cells of the digestive tract. These channels act as gatekeepers, ushering nutrients into the cells and then releasing them on the other side of the cell to enter the bloodstream. In a healthy digestive tract, some small molecules like short-chain fatty acids and other small nutrients can slip between the cells without the need for a membrane receptor. This is usually beneficial, allowing these vital substances to enter the bloodstream directly. However, when the protective layer of cells in the digestive tract is compromised due to prolonged exposure to a harsh chemical environment, often resulting from a lack of protective mucus or inadequate repair mechanisms, a potentially hazardous situation unfolds. As this layer weakens, the space between cells dangerously widens. Toxins from harmful bacteria can then breach this barrier and enter the bloodstream, stimulating a dangerously high level of inflammation. Chronic inflammation is linked to cancer growth, and leaky gut has been associated with the risk of colon cancer. But here comes the role of the good bacteria. A standout example of this is found in the bacteria residing in the digestive tract, producing short-chain fatty acids. The cells comprising the digestive tract are interconnected by proteins known as desmosomes. The production of desmosomes is influenced by short-chain fatty acids. They aid in tightening the spaces between these cells by increasing production of desmosomes. This mechanism ensures a selective passage of only the appropriate molecules serving as a safeguard against the development of a leaky gut. When the beneficial bacteria break down undigested carbohydrates, they also yield short-chain fatty acids with acetate, propionate, and butyrate being the most common. Once created within the digestive tract, these short-chain fatty acids can enter the bloodstream. In this complex choreography, butyrate takes on the role of a genuine guardian of the digestive tract. It contributes to increased mucus production, forming a protective shield for the epithelial cells against the harsh and acidic contents found within the digestive tract lumen. In the event that new epithelial cells are required, butyrate steps in. It not only promotes the growth of fresh, healthy cells, but also plays a role in apoptosis, a natural process of programmed cell death, targeting epithelial cells that may be at risk of becoming cancerous for apoptosis. Additionally, the control of blood glucose heavily depends on the release of insulin from the beta cells in the pancreas. Propionate signals for both the growth and protection of pancreatic beta cells and also triggers insulin secretion associated with glucose increase. The influence of short-chain fatty acids extends to blood pressure regulation too. When short-chain fatty acids bind to receptors on the autonomic and central nervous systems, it triggers vasodilation, an expansion of blood vessels, resulting in a decrease in blood pressure. Short-chain fatty acids also act by blocking the genetic triggers of elevated blood pressure and play a crucial role in maintaining the health of endothelial cells lining the blood vessels. Propionate and butyrate advance immune health by activating an anti-inflammatory response within the body. Their ability to suppress gene expression associated with inflammation is a key element of their immune protection function. Propionate and butyrate also aid in elevating the number of T regulatory cells, which act as vigilant protectors, shielding the body from overactive immune responses, particularly including chronic inflammation. But the immune boosting story doesn't end there. Short chain fatty acids can also cause the production of antimicrobial proteins and lower the pH of the digestive tract. This creates an inhospitable environment for pathogenic bacteria. At this point, the question may arise, aren't many of the benefits of short-chain fatty acids producing bacteria in the digestive tract 
many of the same health benefits seen with high levels of aerobic fitness. After all, aren't increased muscle mass, improved blood glucose handling, lower blood pressure, and a strong anti-inflammatory effect all seen with increases in physical fitness? The answer is yes. Research has shown that many of the same benefits of a favorable balance of bacteria in the digestive tract are the same as many of the benefits of higher levels of physical fitness. This leads to the question, does increased physical fitness affect the type of bacteria that grows in the digestive tract? Some studies have shown this to be true. In one study, elderly participants who completed an exercise program had both increased muscle mass and increased favorable bacteria for amino acid production once the training was completed. Additionally, short-chain fatty acids producing bacteria in the digestive tract has been positively correlated with physical fitness. This means the higher an individual's level of physical fitness, the higher the amount of healthy or good bacteria in the digestive tract. Numerous other studies have shown alterations to the types of bacteria growing in the digestive tract as individuals complete an exercise program. For example, overweight participants who completed an exercise training program saw changes to their gut microbiota that matched the gut microbiota of healthier, more fit individuals as the participants lost fat mass during the training program. Thus, altering the gut microbiota to a favorable composition of bacteria may be one of the main ways exercise training provides the health benefits of high levels of physical fitness. However, some studies showed that extremely strenuous exercise, such as seen in some athletes and those who train at a level far greater than is necessary for health, have actually seen negative effects on the gut microbiota. However, considering the role of the gut microbiota in physical fitness leads to the thought-provoking question. What about other avenues for shaping the contents of the gut microbiota, such as through diet? Research reveals that a healthier diet has the potential to amplify the positive impact of exercise on physical fitness and muscle well-being. In essence, there's a synergy at play between proper exercise and diet rich in essential nutrients. The specifics, however, remain an open question. The ideal types of exercise, including duration and intensity, are currently under investigation. Yet, one resounding theme emerges. When it comes to cultivating the best gut microbial profile, the combination of regular exercise and a wholesome diet appears to be the winning formula. Thanks for watching.